Developers are hoping to turn part of a housing project now into one of the biggest solar farms in the metro. The Quail Ranch subdivision in Rio Rancho is near Double Eagle Airport. As News 13's George Gonzalez reports, the issue went before Rio Rancho's zoning committee last night. In 2003, the city of Rio Rancho adopted Bernalillo County's 1990 Quail Ranch Master Plan to create a mixed-use development site. Now, developers are hoping to amend that plan and use over 3,000 acres of unused land to construct an efficient energy zone of solar panels. This is a way to put that land to beneficial use, create green energy, and do it in a way that doesn't undermine the original intent of the master plan. As part of the amendment, developers say the site located near the Double Eagle Airport will generate about 400 megawatts of renewable energy per day, allow for solar generation storage, and include a distribution system to help ease stress on the grid during peak energy consumption. In the summer when it's you know, 95, 100 degrees and everybody's running the air conditioning and you know, cranking it up once they get home, you know, we're there to help with our battery to dispatch and help alleviate that load. Currently, the developer has a purchase agreement with PM. The plan, he says, with the amount of power that would be generated, it would give electricity to about 150,000 homes. But questions come into play on what burdens the solar panels could bring. My property was within 100 feet of this site. I'm not against renewable energy in any way, but, but I'm, I, I do have, I guess when it's within 100 feet, I do have some concerns. Zamora says he is concerned over the safety of nearby residential housing, but developers say that won't be a problem. However, if approved, the panels could pose a risk to flying aircraft. The FAA will require us to submit information to them. They're going to review that. And if they decide that we need to do a glare study, we will, of course, do that study. Once the FAA reviews the project and the location, they will make that determination. George Gonzalez, KRQE News 13. The project did pass planning and zoning. It is now going for a vote in front of the entire city council. If approved, the solar farm could be up and running by June of 2024.